this is school design. The provision statement is that a, a child should be able to impact at least 10 million human beings. When you, we take a style at fifth grade, we build their fundamentals. How do you use the AI? How do you use the computer? How do you use social media? I remember these kids have never used social media in their life because their parents don't want them to use it. Yeah. When you go on the internet and you go out the world, you will find hundreds of people like you. Yeah. The goals are, uh, the impact should be at least 10 million human beings by one person. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, we help you start a business when you're four years in, in our project. Mm -hmm. And by the eighth year, you should have a million dollars. And now you work for passion. Mm -hmm. You don't have to work for money and you can buy a house, you can buy a car. You're set, you're financially set. If you can explain yourself to a nine-year-old, mm -hmm. then you actually know what you're doing. If you're not able to explain them, that means you really don't even know yourself. Thank you so much, Principal, for meeting me. I'll try to explain uh, your concern. Your concern is that you want child to have depth of knowledge on subject, depth of science, biology, chemistry, the basics to understand, right? So as I was explaining, uh, this is school design. The provision statement is that a child should be able to impact at least 10 million human beings. Now, as an entrepreneur, as someone who wants to fix something, uh, you need, sometimes you need very depth of knowledge, but most of the time you don't need depth of knowledge. I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. Suppose uh, if you decide today that, tell me a problem you want to solve more, which impacts 10 million people. Say climate change. Climate, yeah. Okay, so you're very concerned about climate, or trees, or forests, or pick one thing in it, like glaciers, something. So when you start, you only have a wish. You only have a desire. You don't know exactly how to solve it. And when you go on the internet and you go out the world, you will find hundreds of people like you, if not thousands. And uh, dozens of those must have done PhD on it. Yeah. So as an entrepreneur, yeah. your job is not to really become another PhD, your job is to bring all the PhDs together, mm -hmm. make them work together, because most people cannot work together. Most people want to work their way. Yeah. And it's always, especially if you're a PhD, it's my way or the highway, you know, it's like very difficult to work with them. The more yeah. you study, yeah. the more you already know yeah. what you know. So you're like, no, I don't want to learn anymore. I spent 30 years on this trip. I don't want anymore, right? So that's as an entrepreneur, your job becomes to become friends with them, get to know them, get to lobby with them, for them, and make them work okay. together. Mm -hmm. Your focus is time. All of you are going in the same direction. All mm -hmm. are going to Salzburg. But they're all going in their own car. Your job is to get them all in a bus and sit together with each other without killing each other, without trying to, <laughs> you know, with trying to collaborate in the bus, going mm -hmm. from A to B. And mm -hmm. that's what I think we have designed this school for. Okay. So when you, we take a style at fifth grade, we build their fundamentals. How do you use the AI? How do you use the computer? How do you use social media? I remember these kids have never used social media in their life because their parents don't want them to use it. Yeah. They have not, most of the kids which I have now have never used a computer before because their parents couldn't afford a computer. Mm -hmm. Most of them never had a cell phone of their own. Now we're saying, you have to have your own cell phone. Now they're like, half of the time is to explain, they're, they're scared that the kid, the kid will, something will happen to them. So, one year it takes just to get this done. But how do they trust you, I mean the parents? They know me for so long, right? I have so much content on the internet. Okay. Most, I'm blessed that the parents which I have are phenomenal. Mm. Uh, I'm having an event on 16th of April to award every single parent. I give them an award. That thank you for trusting me to bring your child here because these child are going to be the first of the lot. You know, it took a lot of courage from your side to bring them to us. So that's that's why we don't have to convince them so much okay. uh, because there is material about me mm. by me for a long long time mm. and then the team i have some of them have seen 
been with me for six years, 10 years, 15 years, so they know, they trust me, so they transfer that trust over to them. So first year we build the base, second year we give them a problem, say glacier, so they become a glacier wala. So you become Chaksanya, or how do you say your name? Aksinya. Aksinya, Aksinya, Miss Glacier, whatever, something like this. And then your job is to, of course, uh, research that glacier, but you become vocal enough, like Greta Thunberg. You become famous in that space. Mm -hmm. You become a lighthouse. You become the person. People come to you. You don't go to them. They come to you. So in order for them to go, you have to glorify you. We have to make you, put you on the pedestal. We will make you a celebrity. Uh, or somebody like Elon Musk, everybody wants to go to him now. Okay, you solve this problem. I can't do it. So we make, make a small Elon Musk of that field. A, a person of influence. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? We make you make a video every single day about your topic. Mm -hmm. Every day. Mm -hmm. For five minutes, you you make an AI based video on your topic. Mm -hmm. Number two, you watch a TED talk mm -hmm. on your topic. Then you make another video what you learned from this TED talk. And then you post it on social media and you mm -hmm. tag the original person. And now this original person is 50 years old. This, what is this 12 year old young person? doing and then they, uh, they the child requests them can I interview you? they're like oh more shock yeah 12 year old will interview me yeah. really yeah. okay <laughs> fine do it so and the interview is so beautiful because they can ask any stupid question it is no stupid question when you're 30 you ask a stupid question you're you're scared yeah when you're 12 you don't know anything and the yeah. person says oh okay she's 12 yeah. you can answer that so the the knowledge it becomes like Einstein says, if you can explain yourself to a nine-year-old, mm -hmm. then you actually know what you're doing. If you're not able to explain them, that means you really don't even know yourself. So this I'm putting into application. It's such a brilliant concept. It's so brilliant. So now Amazing. 200 times a year, the child has to connect to a glacier expert. Wow. and interview them every day. There are probably day. not so many experts. <laughs> well, we find them. There must be climate change expert, glacier yeah, expert, yeah, water yeah. expert, yeah. people who want to do something. Yeah. So you make your tribe. Oh. Basically, you're making your tribe, right? At Amazing. the age of 10 or 11, Amazing. Amazing. you start that. And uh, How did you come to this idea? I've been doing this for 15, 20 years. It's you not mean you've been new. doing yourself? No, been, no, but the, not the, just myself, for other people. No, also. but this concept itself that that you that that a child would interview like 200 people per year on a subject. It's just how a number. It's, no, no, how, I just how, threw it out there. Because no. I was doing it for myself. For I had done okay. hundreds and thousands of interviews yeah. myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew the power of networking i i when i was growing up there was no internet i had to go and meet people yeah like i came to see you today because you are a mountain of knowledge oh. <laughs> right and i want a small piece of ice from that mountain mm -hmm. i don't want everything because i can't it takes a yeah. whole mountain takes years to make mm -hmm. but if i'm connected with this mountain and the mountain trusts me that okay here is some ice for you i can call you after one year two year three year can i have a small little information a mm -hmm. tip and then or if i'm doing a conference or mm. if there is something going on i can take you there or invite you there so it's not an individual effort mm -hmm. the whole idea is to make your tribe mm -hmm. and the tribe actually starts to do something wow, it's what so we beautiful. are making it's amazing what we are it's making amazing. is the leader of the tribe yeah and that leader's job is to connect with everyone mm and stay friends with them really i will write an article about you yeah and you <laughs> you know amazing. that guy who's the conductor of the music yeah, or the yeah, orchestra yeah. he doesn't know how to okay. play anything he yeah. knows how, how the note the hair is coming this coming is coming yeah. how it should be yeah, yeah but if you ask him to play he can't play all the instruments some, no, all notes but some. one or two maybe one or two, yeah. right so mm -hmm. Here, the child is becoming an expert on the communication part, mm. on the connection part, on the networking part, mm. and bringing them all together part. That's wow. the job of a leader, I think. That's it. The, I think that's the real job of a leader. Bring everybody together and then let mm. them do what they're... And then don't let them fight. Mm. Because they will fight. As humans, we will have to fight. We just... It's in our DNA. We just fight. So, as your job is become to somehow curate that they shouldn't fight, they should work together. Mm. And that's what we're building. Mm. The goals are, uh, 
the impact should be at least 10 million human beings by one person. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, we help you start a business when you're four years in in our project. Mm -hmm. And by the eighth year, you should have a million dollars. You should off your own. So you can retire by 20. And now you work for passion. Mm -hmm. You don't have to work for money and you can buy a house, you can buy a car. You're set, you're financially set. Now keep on going on your vision, mission, and you, people already know you. They, and when, when people know you for something, it's very hard to leave that space because you're like kind of stuck. Yeah, it's true. It's like labeled you, right? It's true, yes, yes. So I'm I, already suffering from that, you know, with this polymath because I think I'm bigger than that, but people already identify myself only with this topic yes. and say, hey guys, I have also something more. No, to no, no, <laughs> this, this, stick to this. So, so this is another trick I learned on my in my life that uh -huh. if I label people, yeah. if I put a wala in front of their name, mm. even if they want to break from their chain, they uh -huh. cannot. Oh, but is this good or bad? I don't know. I'm trapping <laughs> them into a situation. Look, if I was born to my parents, can I say it was good or bad? I cannot say that it's good or bad. It is what it is. If yeah. I'm born in a city, yeah. is it good or bad? This is what it is. You have to accept okay. certain circumstances. Okay. And uh, people say you're putting, doing, making them do this, this, this. I tell them, look, they're born in this city. These are the 100 big problems in the city. We want them to solve this city yes. problem first. Yes. Then, then they can go. Then do 20, give me 20 years of your life. We will fix this problem. Then okay. you are already still 30. Yeah. At 30, yeah. people normally don't even have start. They don't yeah. have a PhD. Now I'm giving you a million dollars. I'm giving you a PhD. I'm giving you a name in the world. What else do you want, dude? I mean, this is a it's wonderful amazing. program, I think. And, and you should go for a Nobel Prize. Okay, you nominate me. <laughs> I will nominate okay. you. <laughs> but let's the nobility happen. And top of that, every student, we will make sure gets a Guinness Book of World Record. Every student, not one, not wow. two, everyone. Wow. <laughs> every student, majority of the students, we want Nobel laureates. Uh, majority of the students, everyone should become a millionaire, not just one. They, because if every, 100 years ago, if somebody told you, uh, people were saying, you, not everybody can read and write. But now everybody reads and writes. Yeah. So true. today I am the first one saying every student should become a millionaire. Mm. I don't know anybody else. Even I was scared to say this. <laughs> and now yeah, that's quite. It's a big number for a lot of people. Yeah. They don't make it in their life even. Yeah. And now yeah. I'm saying every student should do it. We will make it happen. And they're like skeptical right now. Mm -hmm. But once we do first and second and third and fourth, yeah. they will start to understand that it is possible. It's just the process. Yeah. Wow. It's such so a that's vision. what we're doing. Uh, I understand a lot of people have critique on, on a lot of things, you know. Mm -hmm. It's all because, as, as, as the example I was giving you earlier, nobody has designed a school till date with the internet and AI in the mind. It's like designing yeah. a castle without electricity. Mm -hmm. So we built the castle of school 100 years ago. We needed this kind of school, but now the world has changed. We all live, live, need to connect with each other, talk to each other, mm -hmm. work as human beings, not as this country or this country or this race. Otherwise, we'll just kill each other. It's just not nice. Yeah, but do you think it would suit every person? Like, for instance, to take into No, I'm going for 1,000 meters right now. Okay. I'm not saying this is for everyone right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. But remember, 200 years ago, 150 years ago, there was no school for doctors. There was no school for accountants. Yeah. So would, there was no school for engineering. Somebody made an engineering school. Now everybody goes in, comes out an engineer. Somebody goes yeah, in. Yeah. Where is the where is the where is the president school? Where is the politician school? Who goes in, yeah. practice five years, and come out as a president? You wake up one day and you say, okay, I will screw this country today. <laughs> you, I will run for the president. <laughs> I will screw everything. Why? This is wrong. Yeah. So I think leadership should be practiced. Mm. And here we are literally creating practical leadership. It's yes, not learning yes, anything. Absolutely. It's doing okay, everything. Okay, okay. Wow. So my goal is a thousand people. You can take that model, do it for 10,000 people, 100,000 people, a million people. I don't know. Right now, I'm not. When I, 10 years ago, everything to me was at least a million people, 100 million people. Now I'm like, no, no, no. It's not working. <laughs> Let's think realistic. Let's, uh, I don't think it's real, but. Thousand people I can handle myself directly. Mm. So these students will Just be my direct students. Yeah, I have 14 million people on my Facebook. I handle them every day. 
Yeah, but you don't handle for I message minutes. every day, eight hours a day, replying them. Yes, I'm over. <laughs> I'm seeing that. Yeah. And, yeah. They and I have to handle the criticism, yes. content. Yes. Then I have to handle, I, I have learned to handle them. So I can teach what I've learned. That's all I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. I'm only teaching what I know. So basically, I'm just making micro media a lot yeah. of them. Yeah. So I've I've been all through this process. Mm. Anything I teach, I don't teach unless I do it myself. Mm -hmm. So I first will do myself, first mm -hmm. learn myself. Not become fantastic at it, but at least taste it. I will not mm -hmm. recommend a coffee to someone if yeah. I have not tried it. So that's mm -hmm. what I do. Wow. I don't know if it makes sense. Absolutely, absolutely, and it's such a brilliant idea. I would absolutely love to spread it, <laughs> spread a word about it. Get us few students because we have now started. Um, now I think you, you can take my daughter. <laughs> please, <laughs> will. it will be an honor. Uh, you can start with her for two hours a day. Yes. And then once she, she likes it, two yes. hours, then six she hours. She will love this. And then you can ditch the normal school and shift there. It's such a also auspicious uh, sign that we met today when her birthday. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know? How old is she now? 13. Perfect age. She is a leader personality. She will do that. She will she love She has it. a mom who is a leader, so that's <laughs> what I will do that. Well, yeah, she, she, she's very inspired. Yeah. But yeah, she has the potential. Great, wow. Get us four more because mm -hmm. here's, here's an idea to talk about. We read that in the last two years, Russia killed, oh, well, not Russia, but 30,000 people died in the Ukraine war. Yeah. Why don't we have Mr. Putin and the other guy doing Facebook Live, sitting together every day for half an hour? He can't handle And sort it out. <laughs> no, he can't handle right? You just go and bomb people. Why can't Mr. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Israel and Mr. Palestine sit together and just talk it out? Why are you yeah. destroying normal people? Yeah. So I think, I think the solutions of the world is in the openness, yeah. not in the closedness. Right. So we're trying to solve world problem in behind closed door. Why? You're representing me in my parliament. And you don't let me hear what you're talking about me as my... This is wrong. So my next book, I'm going to write about war. War mm. in the 21st century. Wow. How should we... Why did it happen? Why do we allow people to be killed? Why do we accept bombing? Yeah. I'm going to do all the research. I don't know how long it will take me, maybe a year. Mm. And just get it out. That this is wrong. We should just ban this, the bombing part. Absolutely. We just talk it out. Yeah, we should ban it. Yeah. Yeah, but then it really needs a new mindset. Yes, we yes. need a new mindset. And Start scratch. Don't don't think, build on the path. That's where again the challenge comes. Imagine you're starting from all over. Yeah. How would you start it? I don't think this is the way. You don't need these bombs. Eighty-five million people died in the Second World War. That's insane. Yeah. So uh, thank you for listening. Thanks. Do you have any follow-up questions? No, so far I'm just excited and inspired and really easy. I would love to follow your idea and to spread it and to get, get your daughter in. Okay, I will. <laughs>